everybody welcome back to another episode of stoked on spokes in today's video i'm going to answer a question that i get all the time actually i don't really get it all the time i think i've got it like twice but i think it's a great question and the question is why did i choose the non-electric bullet over the electrified bullet if you're new to the channel and are saying to yourself what the heck is a bullet well, a bullet is a type of cargo bike, specifically Larry versus Harry bullet. And while I'm talking about the bullet in general, you can take these concepts and apply them to your e-bike or non-e-bike cargo bike purchase. So here we go. I'm going to give you five reasons why I chose the non-electrified version of the bullet. And I hope these help. Before I start, I will say that these five reasons are extremely subjective so take them as you will some of them you might agree with some of them you might think i'm crazy but hopefully this video helps reason number one is health now i'm not a pro cyclist nor do i plan to be but i do like to push myself when it comes to physical endeavors i like to go on runs i like to go on bike rides and while i'm not competitive in a racing format I like to feel good when I'm doing those physical activities. I don't like to feel sluggish or slow. Sure, the non-electric bullet is slower than the electric bullet when you're riding it, but when you get off of it and get back on the gravel bike or a mountain bike, you will totally see the benefits of riding a cargo bike and pushing a heavy load or traditional load up a hill. Reason number two is longer rides slash tours. We all know that electric bullets or electric cargo bikes need a battery and that battery might have a certain range. Sure, you can carry extra batteries in the cargo compartment of a cargo bike, but I didn't want to think about those logistics. I just wanted to be able to go off on the cargo bike, pedal power all the way, get to where I need to get, and then be able to come home after just on my own power. Reason number three is to make it future proof. Now we all have technology and we buy this technology one day thinking that's the greatest thing ever. Two years later, something else comes out and makes your thing not the greatest thing ever. Now it's still a great piece of tech, but it's just not as wanted as the newer tech. And I have a theory on e-bikes in general, not just cargo e-bikes, that they're not gonna hold their value for long. Technology's always making advancements and with that, these companies like Bosch are making better motors every year for e-bikes and companies are making better batteries to push those motors that are more efficient. So with time, I think your e-bike purchase might, well, really not be that valuable. Now, if you don't get an electric bullet or an electric cargo bike, it'll just have its value for what it is. It won't degrade over time. Sure, you might have different components than what is in later, but I don't think that will take too much out of your pocket if you plan on selling in the future. On top of that, if you do want to make an e-bike out of your non-electric bullet, you can. They sell aftermarket kits. I'm sure they're not as efficient or as good as the stock electric bullets, but it is an option. So if you buy a non-electric cargo bike, and you totally hate yourself for doing it, you can't stand your legs when they're burning as you're going up a hill, so then you can turn it into an e-bike. Reason number four is Canyon's perspective. If you're new to the channel and don't know who Canyon is, Canyon is my son, he's 17 months old, and he's kind of the main reason why we justified getting this bullet. When Canyon was young, I used to ride with Canyon and Jordan in the bullet, and Maybe I'm overthinking this. I'm definitely overthinking his perspective on cycling, but I want him to find joy in going slow. When you add a motor to a bicycle, it might skew the perception of someone who's not yet a traditional cyclist. So I didn't want Canyon to be on an electric cargo bike bombing uphill. And when it came time for him to ride, um, just super bummed out that he's not going as fast as the e-bike. So I didn't want Canyon's perspective on cycling to be skewed in any way. I just wanted him to get the traditional perspective on cycling. 
That way, yes, he knows that we're going uphill at one or two miles per hour, but you earn your turns on the downhill. So reason number five is definitely, definitely price. Um, the electric bullet is way more expensive than the non-electric bullet. And I couldn't justify spending more money for a bike after making a pros and cons list and seeing why I wanted the non-electric version more. So it just kind of worked out like that for me. If you have a list and you're kind of trying to justify the e-bullet, then that's totally up to you. Again, these are my five reasons why I got the non-electric bullet, but they're extremely subjective. I can't, I can't like say that enough. My circumstance and use case for the bullet might be totally different than yours and what you're planning to use your cargo bike for. So take that as you will, take these as you will. Let me know in the comments if this video helped you at all. If you agree with something, if you disagree, let me know your counter arguments in the comments as well, as long as it's in a critical manner, then uh, yeah, we'll engage in some conversation. Hope you guys liked this video. Thank you to my Patreon supporters for supporting the channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, remember to stay stoked on Spokes.